Yo, 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 man. So, boy, Swift Vanguard here. We back again with another video of an incredible unboxing of the Asaka Rogue Alloy. So, remember to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications on if y'all like the video. And hey, let's get into it. So, I just got two boxes that came to my mail today. One was the uh, the stand, what you call it, stand base for the Steam Deck, but it, actually you can use it for the uh, Rogue Alloy. So I'm, I'm glad because I researched everything for this so I can get the actual device to sell. So I can actually have some support. Because the other stand that it came with, it, it, it was, well, it was all right for a while, but I mean, I wanted to get something more sturdy so I can just in case we do, I do go traveling or I do go somewhere so I can at least have it. So there's that, and then I got this protective shell for the uh, Rogue Alloy. So I got that, so I can see what it looks like for the whole device itself. So I can at least have, see if it's more comfortable or not. If it's not, then I just basically just wasted twenty dollars. So let's get into the video. So our first one, we're gonna be boxing this the actual stand itself. Let's see uh, if I can find it. So that's the stand. I've heard that you can buy the actual charger back. You can put it right here in the back. But other than that, I mean, it looks, looks kind of cool. Though. I ain't gonna lie to you. And it fits. Let's go. All right. So my device is not dead. It's just uh, it's uh, turned off. So I will be turning it on so I can show y'all an actual review after I show y'all these on, uh, other unboxings I got going on. So there you go. Here's the next one. The actual protective shell that it came with when I uh, pre when I actually bought it was a week or two. So I'll get this. So what y'all think? What y'all think? All right, so that's what it looks like on the front. That's what it looks like on the back. On the sides. All right, so I'm gonna turn it on. It feels better like this compared to what it did before. I like it like this, how I can just hold it. It feels better in my hands when I'm gripping it. Like that way, I like it. Let me see if I can fit it on the... Uh... Ah, I can't. <laughs> you can't put the dock. Why is docked? So you have to take this off. You gotta take the uh, thing off before it can be undocked. Y'all like my wallpaper, bro? It's, it's crazy. Uh, can I even use my finger? Yes, I can. All right, so yeah, of course, y'all see a couple games I downloaded so far. This is what I have. But as messing with it and by toying with it, this is everything that I've liked so far with the uh, Rogue, with, you know, with the Rogue Alloy. So this is everything I liked with it. This is my review. So I got the stand, standard, uh, what you call it, uh, emulators already up and running. But the one that I use most is Big Box. So with Big Box, I just... I'm gonna go on to that because I, I basically have everything already in Big Box, already set up. So basically I have everything already set up for Big Box. So I got all my Nintendo DS games already running. 
So of course I got all of those. Like I'm a big anime fan, so y'all. I mean, of course y'all know that. So of course y'all gonna y'all gonna see more anime, like Beyblade, Naruto, Bleach, Mega Man. Of course, I ain't really. Get, I, I'm not finished. I'm still trying to get DS games that I like. Game Game Boy games. Of course, I got all of Mega Man. I should have. I should have got the Switch version of this. I mean, I do have it, but it's on my modded Switch. So of course it's on it's over there. I got GameCube. And of course we got the Wii. I mean, of course we like Avatar. Of course, I mean. We got then we got the PS2. Some credible, some credible games on here, yo. I like it. I love these two games. Those, those two games, the Rico Seven. I love it. One of the best games I've played. That and Bleach Battle Blades. One of the two best games I've loved playing. I did the PS3 version of the game. Of course, I got Batman. I love Batman, and I've loved Gundam too. Then we got the PSP. Of course, we got all bleach, heat the souls. I love. I'm a big fan. Uh, and running Kenshin, that was a big game. I liked playing. And of course, we got all the Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm a big fan of Yu-Gi-Oh too. And then, last but not least, we got Steam. I finally, I finally figured out how to put Steam in here. It took me a while. Oh, no, no, I got two more, two more. Okay, shit, my bad. Um, we got 360s next. Don't really got that many. I, I gotta go back and get some more. Then it's the the 3DS. I'm more of a in the zoom one type of person for 3DS and Fire Emblem type stuff, but other than that, yeah. And then if I had to play a game, let me see. There was a game I actually did want to play while I had it on here. I've always wanted to play Saint Seiya, bro. At least this version of Saint Seiya. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Desktop, go to Gamepad. Yeah. If y'all hearing that loud ass thing, it's, it's just a fan. If that's what y'all hearing right now. <laughs> that bitch is loud. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> like it comes on, it comes off like crazy. So I'm like, you know what? It, it's, it's just gonna stay like that. For, uh, like if I knew how to turn it off, I would, especially when I'm doing videos with my phone and everything. I'll be like, Yo, I might as well just stay to what I'm doing. I mean, everything boosts up so fast, especially all the emulators I like. The only one that I don't like so far has to be the, uh, what you call it, the Wii. It doesn't boot up as fast as I would want it to, and it likes to stutter every once in a while, but only for certain games, not all.
Like, I've been used to playing Saya for a while. It's just, oh, shit. Really? I'm about to say, I know I hit you. Now this is the Big Bang version. I'm, like, I'm getting really sick and tired of you keep doing that, my boy. Like, real talk. Mmm. You ain't getting back up. Don't even try it. 